Reggie here, and I want to welcome you to another one of my videos. In this video, we are going to be looking at the 10 most submitted books into CBCS. And I get this data directly from CBCS prior to these books being graded. This video is also the second of two videos that I generally do every single month in which I look at books that are being graded by the third party grading companies. If you have not seen these videos, I definitely encourage you to check them out. And if you have not subscribed to the channel, I definitely want to encourage you to do that. That way you won't miss out on the content that I release from the channel. With that said, let's go ahead and get to the list. Number 10 on the list is Moon Knight issue number one from 1980. This book is the first self-titled and ongoing series featuring Moon Knight. At present, there are 487 direct edition copies of this book on the CBCS population report with 43 of those books coming in at a 9.8. According to Go Collect, this book has a value of $485 at a 9.8. It also has to be mentioned that the last time this book was sold was in July of 2022, so you definitely want to take that sales data with a grain of salt. Number nine on the list is Amazing Spider-Man issue number 361, the first appearance of Carnage. Currently, there are 623 total copies of this book on the population report, with only 86 of them scoring a 9.8. This book at a 9.8 has a present value of $227, and like so many other books out there, the value of this book has fallen over the course of 2022 into 2023. Number eight on the list is Wolverine issue number one, the limited series from 1982. There are currently 881 total graded copies of the direct edition of this comic on the CBCS population report. In addition to being the first Wolverine solo title, this book is credited with the first use of the phrase, I'm the best there is at what I do. This book at a 9.8 has a value according to Go Collect of $539. This sale, however, occurred in October of 2022. So again, take it with a little grain of salt. Number seven on the list is Ultimate Fallout issue number four, the first appearance of Miles Morales, the Spider-Man from an alternative universe released by Marvel Comics in 2011. This book in many ways was the darling of the pandemic because its value and that of its variants skyrocketed during the pandemic. At present, there are 1,143 direct edition copies of this book on the population report. The 9.8 has a value of $2,100. And like the other books referenced so far in this video, the sales data on this book is a little dated. The last sale having occurred in July. Number six on the list is Secret Wars issue number one. But... It is the Blue Galactus version. Yes, there is a printer error version of this book out there where Galactus appears improperly in a blue uniform. And this is also noted on the label by CBCS. At present, there are 581 copies of the Blue Galactus variant on the population report, with 86 of them landing a 9.8. The most recent sale for this book was $583 at a 9.8. Number five on the list is Amazing Spider-Man issue number 300, the first appearance of Venom. At present, there are 1,122 total direct edition copies of this book on the population report, but because the sales data is severely dated, we won't talk about that here. I will, however, point out to you that there are 592 newsstand copies also on the population report. And that is one of the cool things about the CBCS population report is that they actually break out newsstands versus direct. Number four on the list is Spider-Man 2099 issue number one. And according to CBR, this is one of Marvel's 
best selling comics of all time. And according to CBR, this book sold 1.7 million copies. And at present, there are roughly 500 total copies that have been graded by CBCS. The most recent sale for this book at a 9.8 was this month for $100. Number three on the list is Spawn issue number one from Todd McFarlane. At present, there are 1,296 total direct edition copies of this book on the population report. This first appearance of Spawn has a current value at a 9.8 of $116, according to Go Collect. Number two on the list is another Secret Wars book, but this one is issue number eight, the first appearance of the symbiote costume, which later becomes Venom. This month, a CBCS 9.8 sold for $540. There are currently 102 9.8s on the population report and an overall total of 576 direct edition copies. CBCS also has graded an additional 358 newsstands. And number one is Venom Lethal Protector, the first solo series of the aforementioned Venom. Currently, there are 1,428 direct edition copies on the population report. There are 13 9.9s and 724 9.8s. At present, there are no sales for the 9.9, .9, but a 9.8 just sold for $130. So there you have it. That is the rundown for the month of December of the 10 most submitted books in to CBCS. And if you have not checked out this ongoing series, I definitely want to encourage you to do so because there is a tremendous amount of information that is contained in this series. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, I definitely want to encourage you to do that as well. If you need to reach out to me for whatever reason, feel free to do so on Instagram at Reggie Collects. Take care. I do want to encourage you to consider picking up a copy of Isolation issue number two. We have some amazingly talented artists that have worked on the interior pages as well as the covers. So if you haven't yet picked up a copy of Isolation issue number two or one for that matter, I want to encourage you to head over to ReggieCollects.com and make your purchase. And we thank you in advance. No need rapper, rolling, rolling, rolling.